Hello everyone. Today I'm doing a quick simple video on how I can hamburger. In here I have 10 pounds of Zacon fresh hamburger. And I'm going to par cook it, the whole, all of it. Kind of like steam cook it in here. I guess you'd call it half boiling it, but par cooking it. And then I'll pack it in my cans. Now, as with any of these kinds of canning, meat, beans, vegetables, you want to make sure you always check your USDA website for your state to find out proper canning times, proper weight for your pressure, all that information. It's very important. And you want to always make sure you always read your ball canning jars. You can even go to the ball website and read everything they have about it there. It is important that you never take anyone's 100% certainty on how to can anything. Another really important thing to remember when it comes to canning a lot of certain things is every recipe at one point was a rogue canning recipe. The USDA finally got to checking it, doing their times, doing their testing, and that's when it becomes a USDA uh, canning approved process. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't can things. It just means you should be aware of things. All canning and all processing that is done in your house is on you. You are the one responsible. You are the one making it. You are the one putting it into your family's body. So it is a very important that you make sure you feel 100% comfortable canning something before you can it. I've been canning only for actual canning canning only for four years now. However, I spent two years before I even canned for the first time watching all of these ladies. Watching so many different ladies on YouTube. Watching so many different educational anything I could get a hold of on canning. And then I started slowly. I started with fruit. I started with jams and jellies. I even started dehydrating before I got into serious canning. I spent a year and a half perfecting anything and everything that had to do with water bath canning for my own comfort level before I moved on to pressure canning. I've been pressure canning. I have probably pressure canned two, three hundred pounds of hamburger by now after two and a half years. We love canned meat. Canned meat, home canned by me, is a lot cheaper, works out a lot better, and for us, saves us so much money. So much money. It's ridiculous. All right, so 10 pounds of hamburger, par cooking it. We'll be back. There we go. I've got six jars ready to go. You get a about a pound and three quarters per quart jar. Now I'm going to put them through the processor and process them for 90 minutes. Um, I don't raw pack like I said I par cook and then I fill them and then I put about halfway up with the juice because they've still got they're only half cooked so they still got a bunch of their own juice in them. So they will finish cooking and fill up the rest of the way with juice and all will be good. We'll be back when I pull these out. Oh, and if you want to know, I have a video in my playlist on how to pressure can. And you can just watch that how to pressure can video, and then here you go. All my jars went through all the processing time. However, I wanted to show you this, because this happens to even, you hear that? A broken jar it happens to even the best of us even people who have been canning for years more than likely there was a little hairline fracture on the bottom of the jar that I did not see and it broke all right thanks for coming along 
I hope you enjoyed this quick, simple, easy video on how I can my hamburger. Remember, always check FDA website or ball canning jars to make sure you follow the proper canning procedures. All right, everyone. We'll see you in the next one. And remember, stay positive. Bye.